In this tutorial, I'm going to run you through how to have a shape layer adjust its size based on your text layer. As you can see here, we have some simple text with some boxes behind. And if we were to alter our text, the boxes behind will adjust accordingly. We can have a center left or right aligned box, which we will go into shortly. So let's jump in and see how these are created. So let's create a new composition. Let's just leave it as that for now. Okay. So let's just create some text. This can be anything you want. And let's start by naming this layer text. Again, this layer name could be anything you want, but you do need to remember what this is as we will be using it in an expression. So just keep it nice and simple if you can. Let's just call ours text. And then click off and go up to our shape layer. Grab our rectangle tool and just draw just a basic rectangle. It doesn't need to be any particular shape as long as it's in here. Drag it beneath our text. And what we need to do is under contents, rectangle one, we need to go to our rectangle path one and find our size. And this is where we're going to put our first expression. So I will share this below in the description or comment. So if you look beneath, you should find this for yourself. I'm just going to copy the expression under size and then holding option or alt on our keyboard we're going to click the stopwatch next to size to bring up our expression box and we're just going to paste this in here and these two layers here is where you want to match your text layer name to this name here so whatever you have here you want in here on both of these layers Ours is text, so I will leave that as it is. Let's just hide that. And now our box becomes the size of our text. It's not in the correct position, so I'm just going to click on our text layer, go to align, and just align this to the center of our comp. And then I will do the same for our shape layer, just so they're both in the center. And now, if we were to change our text, our shape layer will change with it. If we go back to our expression, you will see on this top line here, we have a margin. And this is just the space around our text. If I put this to zero, the box will have no margin and it will be the exact size of our text. So you can have this any size you want, but I'm just going to put ours back to 50. Click off. There is another step you'll need to do if your text is left or right aligned rather than in the center. So let's just delete these two layers and create another text layer. Let's call this left align. Let's go to our paragraph and have this left aligned. I'm just going to go to align and make sure it's in the center of our composition. But if I was to type, you can see it is left aligned. And then again, I'm going to click off, grab our shape layer, our rectangle tool, and just draw a random rectangle. Let's drag our shape layer beneath, and then let's just paste in the same expression as we did on the previous one, in size, rectangle path one, size, get our expression box up and paste. Drag this down, you see it's exactly the same. Click off, and you'll get this error if this text here, and these two lines, don't match our text name. And that's because ours isn't called text. So I'm just going to rename that text, hit enter, and that error will disappear. On our shape layer, I'm just going to align this to the center of our composition, just so they're in a correct position. Go to our text. And if I was to change this text, you will see that the box itself does adjust in size, but it's not in the correct position. So all we need to do is add another short and simple expression, which I will also share below. And it's just one of these two here. So we want our left text position. So I'm going to copy that. And we want the position under rectangle path one, not the position in our transform or either of our transforms, but the position in our rectangle path one. So again, alt or option, click on our stopwatch and paste this in. Click off you will have to realign or reposition your box. So I'm just going to put that back in the center. 
But now, if I was to alter this text, you'll see that the box now follows our text as we want it to. And I'm just going to, rather than delete these layers, I'm just going to make our text right aligned. Oh, I'm in paragraph, align it to the right. Let's just recenter it. And this time we want to copy and paste the other expression. It's identical to the other one, but rather than divided by two, it is divided by minus two or negative two. So you can just add that minus or negative um, symbol before the two, or you can just copy and paste, oh, or you can just copy and paste this expression here. Copy, back down to our position. Let's pretend that wasn't there and paste in our new expression again in position and click off. We will have to realign our box. I'm just gonna drag it into position this time, about there. And if we are to alter our text, that box now follows it with the correct alignment. And that concludes this tutorial. If you found this at all useful, then I'd love it if you could like and subscribe to our channel or even drop a comment below, that'd be great. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.